It's a shame when a movie franchise goes to complete garbage. I think it's even worse when it happens to a TV series, mainly because of that time investment you put in. Today I'm going to talk about my biggest disappointments on this episode of Breaking Bad TV Shows. That's a working title, here on Guru Hub. Entourage was great because we got to live through the lavish lifestyles of a Hollywood playboy and some of his buds. Watching Vincent Chase struggle with movie roles, drug use, the paparazzi, and his love life was exciting at first. Plus you have his agent, Ari Gold, and his spastic life. It made for great TV at first, but wore very thin after years and years of the same thing. There was also a completely unremarkable movie made down the road, just to remind audiences that this show should have quit after four seasons. When it was announced that the lead protagonist, Eric Foreman, was going to pack up and leave after seven seasons, the show should have done the same thing. But the showrunners decided to keep that dumpster truck rolling for one more awful season. And those faithful watchers that stayed on this ride would be treated to one of the worst characters in TV show history, Randy. Can I help you? Leo, it's me, Randy. I got hired last week. We drove in together? <laughs> the worst. I asked people on social media what their favorite TV show was that went to crap. A couple people agreed with me about Randy. Such as LSE stating that 70s show 1 through 7 was great but Randy ruined season 8. What a d head. Pardon the obvious pun but everything that comes after the first couple seasons of True Blood kind of sucks. The premise started off simple and compelling. Vampires are out in the open now and most of the world hates them. The problem really kicks in when it's revealed that most of these normal people were actually werewolves, werepanthers, and fairies. I'm not joking, those are things that are in this show. Werepanthers. When everyone is something magical or supernatural, the show loses its themes and its entire purpose. I will always love How I Met Your Mother because of Neil Patrick Harris and some brilliant song ballads by Robin Sparkles. What I won't love is the completely bizarre choice to have the final season take place over a single week and then sloppily brush past half of Ted's later years. Jack hated the finale as well, stating that the last episode ruined everything. In its prime, Community was a quirky and often creative show that pushed itself in new and exciting directions. The show also had a whole mess of issues going on off camera, from public feuds between actors and the creator, to multiple writer changes, cast departures, and time slot shifts. It's a shame that these things took place, on top of the poor viewership, which ultimately led to its demise when moving to Yahoo Video, where everything goes to die. Arrested Development might be the most meta show in existence. Every episode builds on jokes from previous ones, and it was nice to see a dysfunctional family full of terrible, self-absorbed individuals that wasn't the Kardashians. It was never a very popular show and was canceled after just three seasons. When it was announced that Netflix was picking the show up for a fourth, fans, including myself, were very excited. Unfortunately, this was not the same show we grew to love. Because the actors now had busy schedules, the show could only focus on a couple characters an episode. It changed the entire dynamic, so when people ask me how many seasons there are of Arrested Development, I tell them there's three. I've made a huge mistake. There's no denying how big of an impact The Walking Dead had when it hit TV. The show was incredibly well executed with a great ensemble cast, phenomenal makeup, Plenty of scares and a simple premise that could last for years. It's a shame that that last part of my statement still rings true today, as The Walking Dead just won't die. It's become a soap opera, relying solely on stunt deaths and end-of-season cliffhangers. The show is becoming its subject matter, slow and lifeless, with no reason to exist. Which will also be on my tombstone someday. Most would agree The Office went to complete shit after Michael Scott left. I disagree. I think it went downhill way quicker than that. I think it's almost unwatchable after five seasons. You always left me satisfied and smiling, so. That's what she said. Michael. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael, please. Please. Mwah. Dexter's a fun little show about a serial killer who murders people in his free time while moonlighting as a blood splatter analysis. It's a nice weekend watch with the misses, and by season four, the show is really becoming something remarkable. And that season has one of the best finales to date. 
Just don't get that confused with the series finale, which is complete garbage. After a brilliant fourth season close, the show takes a huge nosedive and never recovers. The writers rob the audience of what could have been amazing reactions from Dexter's close friends and family. Instead, he's a lumberjack. Previously on Lost, crazy sh** happens. Crazy sh** doesn't get explained. More crazy sh** happens. One of those crazy sh** ideas gets explained from three seasons earlier, but 20 more crazy sh** ideas come up. This show is an enigma wrapped in a riddle, drawn on the back of a napkin with crayon at three in the morning to the coffee shop. It didn't even bother me so much that the writers were clearly stringing us along without a single f***ing idea of where this was gonna go. No, 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 no. What bothered me more than anything else was that people believed them. Why was Walt so important and special? What was the point of not being able to have babies on the island? Why are there ghost animals showing up? What did Charles Whitmore have to do with anything? Why were the others brainwashing people? Who cares? Now there are two magical brothers fighting for control of an island that can be moved in time by a fucking wagon wheel that's wedged into the center! I hate this show! It's tough to follow TV characters over many years because they could abruptly leave or their character could be a shell of their former self. Thanks for watching How I Disappointed Your Mother. It's a terrible working title. Take care.